SpaceX's $10 trillion plan. So far, the year 2021 has become less profitable. Although the market is off to a strong start, with many equity indices reaching new highs amid expectations about the economy's reopening, many investors remain cautious due to growing pandemic fears and growing inflation fears. Tesla shares have stumbled in 2021 since growing more than sevenfold last year, sliding 8.5% in the first quarter ended March 31. Regardless of that, let's check out what is SpaceX's $10 trillion plan. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Success Tank. But before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Also, leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and we will personally respond to each of your comments. Standard Oil was founded by John D. Rockefeller, who established the modern oil and refining industry. Standard Oil was able to achieve huge price advantages and size that set it apart from its rivals. It expanded by growing revenues and acquiring other businesses. The Lakeshore Railroad, which was a subsidiary of the New York Central, offered Rockefeller a shipping cost of one pound per gallon, or 42 cents per barrel, in 1868. This was a 71% reduction in exchange for a commitment to transport at least 60 carloads of oil every day. Smaller businesses were unable to deliver enough oil to be eligible for discounts. We are referring to this massive business to give an example of where SpaceX stands today. For rocket launches, SpaceX also has a price advantage. They are now 10 times less expensive than United Airlines and have significant cost advantages over Russia and China. SpaceX has at least a six-year advantage in recycled rockets, according to Next Big Future. Every four years, SpaceX plans to reduce launch costs five times. Competitors that catch up to where SpaceX is now in six years would always be 10 times more expensive. Competitors who are 10 years or more behind SpaceX would face a market deficit of 100 times. To help rivals, there will be almost no open launch contracts. Starlink and other satellites and space technologies would bring in tens of billions of dollars each year for SpaceX. The space industry is worth $300 billion a year but just $8 billion is spent on launches. Commercial releases are worth $3 to $4 billion. Global military and government release a total of $5 billion. SpaceX has now secured 60% of the commercial launch market. After the reusability of rockets approaches the tens of thousands of reuses of commercial airplanes, SpaceX and Elon Musk will begin to develop the rockets. The increased protection will be one of the upgrades for the new generation of the Super Heavy Starship. Increased safety by 1,000 times to 10,000 times would bring rockets to passenger plane safety. Passengers would be able to travel at 20 times the speed of sound in these protected rockets. By 2025, there will be more than 100 million international corporate, first class, and private jet flights each year. Business travelers make up 12% of all flights, but they are usually twice as lucrative for airlines. Business travelers will account for up to 75% of an airline's earnings. First class and business class tickets will cost up to 10 times as much as coach tickets. Secure, reusable rockets could be able to take over the luxury air travel market. Rather than charge more for extra comfort on a 10-hour international flight, Passengers can opt for a half-hour flight that is 20 times quicker. We predict for every 1,000 flights, a Starship will have only one crash. It should be 10 times safer than the Falcon 9 with a crew on board. By 2022 and 2023, this may be operating suborbital point-to-point passenger planes. Each SpaceX point-to-point ticket could cost anything from 5000 to 20000 a total of $1 trillion will be produced if 100 million tickets were sold per year for $10,000 each. This may occur between 2030 and 2040. In 2018, global airline sales were estimated to be around $824 billion. It is rising at a rate of 9.4% each year. It is expected to grow to $1.6 trillion by 2025, $3.2 trillion by 2032, and $5 trillion by 2040. 
The SpaceX Starship can travel at a speed of 13 times that of the Concorde. Ten flights a day may be made by each SpaceX Starship. The travel time for these international rocket flights will be about 20 to 30 minutes. One could transport between 100 and 300 people. In a subsequent iteration, I believe a larger version will be developed, Starship version 3. Daily attendance ranges from 1,000 to 3,000 people. Each vehicle can transport 1 million people per year. Each vehicle may retire or undergo a significant refurbishment after 3,000 to 4,000 uses in a year. Passenger ticket costs for the SpaceX Starship could warrant a higher premium than first class. They'd be first class, and they'd save the traveler a day. In the worst-case scenario, SpaceX's current rocket market becomes the company's only source of revenue, with Morgan Stanley expecting no additional value from Starlink. SpaceX's rockets become an $11.7 billion enterprise in the base case, while Starlink expands to $80.9 billion and the corporation contributes $8.7 billion in point-to-point -point space transport. Finally, in the bull case, the rocket segment grows to $52.5 billion in revenue, while Starlink increases to $132.8 billion in revenue, with point-to-point -point valued at $17.4 billion. SpaceX is playing the game of trillions. Their main aim is to pursue space travel, and they believe space tourism is accessible soon. Their plans revolve around making massive profits whilst fulfilling the aspirations of people who want to travel. SpaceX's advancements in this field will surely be worth watching in the future. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.